السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ حواری بڑی بڑی I hope you are all fine by the grace of Almighty Allah I am also fine alhamdulillah Today I am going to take an online class for the student of class 10 Subtic Psalm and Moral Education Chapter 2 Lesson 24 Topic Terminology Concerning Rules of Sharia Part 1 Our today's topic Sequence of Terminology of Sharia Now, learning outcome After this lesson Students will be able to know about the concept of terminology of Sharia will be able to know the sequence of importance of terminology of Sharia in Islam. Now the introduction. Sharia is the coordinated form of the Islamic rules and regulations. In the Islamic terminology, Sharia means has a strong and straight path by trading with one can receive guidance and a balanced working method. And Ahkam means rules and regulations. Every discipline has got some special terms of its own. Similarly, Islamic Sharia has got a good number of terms peculiar it to the successive importance of the regulations of Sharia can be comprehended through this term. Among the terms relating to the regulations come of the Islamic Sharia, the mentionable ones are Hors, Wajib, Sunnat, Mustahab, Mubah, etc. We shall have a brief introduction of these terms from a study of this chapter. Now the horse. Horse means a rule which must be obeyed or which is most essential. Those rules and regulations of Sharia which are proved as mandatory and inviolable by the irrefutable proofs from Al Quran and Sunnah are called force. A force can't be violated in any situation. If force is denied, Iman is lost. Rather, a rejecter of force becomes a kafir. If these are not observed, major sin, kabira guna, are committed. If the force duties are not permitted, the defaulter will suffer severe punishment in Akhara. Horse duties are of two types, such as for chain to for fire. Now the fourth sign, the sports regulations which all must maintain are the fourth sign. In other words, those sports deeds which every Muslim must do either privately and collectively are the fourth sign. For instance, the five tribes daily fears, fasting in the month of Ramadan, etc. 
every Muslim must perform these duties. Number two, for the kifaya. For kifaya is collectively force. These are such force duties which, if performed jointly by a group of Muslim, it will be accepted on behalf of all Muslim. The rest non-performing Muslim are exempted from this obligation due to its performance by a group of Muslim. But if any group doesn't perform it, all members of that society will be sinners. For example, the Janaja Salat funeral prayer for a Muslim may be mentioned. If a Muslim denies, it becomes incumbent on all Muslims of that area jointly to hold the salat -e janaja In such situation, if a group of persons holds it, all the rest of that community shall enjoy exemption from the application. But if none holds the salat -e janaja of the deceased person, then all will become sinner for abandoning a false duty. Now the wajib. Wajib means obligatory, compulsory, indispensable, etc. These are some such regulation in the Sharia which are to be observed but these are not false. Such regulations are called wajib. In the Sharia, the position of wajib is next to false. It is almost like false. Although it is not sustained by irrefutable evidence, it is obligatory. If one rejects or denies wajib, one doesn't become a kafir, but he is considered as one committing a major sin. The performance of a wajib duty leads to serious sin. One not performing it will have to suffer punishment in Akhirat. There are many wajib duties in Islamic Sharia. For instance, the two is Salat, Bitter Salat, etc. Similarly, in offering pairs, there are some wajibs. For instance, to recite Surah Fatiha, to stand erect after Ruku bending, to sit erect after his Sizda, prostration, etc. If these wajib of Salat are dropped, there must be sista sah, substitute sista before conclusion of prayer. Otherwise, salat will not be proper. It will have to be repeat for compensation. Now the sunnah. Sunnah means path way, method, role, system, etc. In the Islamic parlance, those duties which have been embodied in the Sharia by the Prophet ﷺ, practice or example are called Sunnah. That means, those acts which the Holy Prophet ﷺ himself did or ordered others to do or approved others' person performing them in his presence or under his knowledge, those acts are called sunnah. Sunnah are of two types, such as one, 
সুন্নতে মক্কাদা টু সুন্নতে চাইদা মর্নিং before two rakat of the ports of Johor known pair. Two rakat after ports is after Maghrib sunset and Isha night pairs are incumbent in the Sunnate Wakkada. Sunnate Wakkada is very close to Adi. Their observance is necessary it is sinful to abandon them intentionally or negligently without a valid cause. Now, number two, Sunnate Jaita. Sunnate Jaita is additional Sunnah. Technically, those acts which are proved to be have to perform by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but not always rather which he would do at one time but didn't do at other times are called the Sunnati Jaid. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged the Ummah followers to perform them but he didn't insist on their performance and it is not sinful to drop them either. Sunnati Jaida is also called Sunnati Gawari Muakkata. For instance, the four rakat of Salat is before the Asur and the Isha for Salat. Performance of Sunnati Jaida appears brings most reward with Saab to their performance, performer. Now the mustahab. Mustahab means preferable. Such acts are regarded as mustahab in the Sharia for which the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged his Ummah. Such acts the performance of which will bring reward but non-performance will not cause sin. All kinds of worship or good deeds additional to ports, wajib and sunnah are considered as mustahab. Mustahab is also styled as nafal or mandu. Now the Mubah. Such acts are called Mubah, the performance of which brings no reward as well as non-performance brings no sin. Man can do such acts by intention or refrain from doing them in absence of intention. Now the homework, why is it important to know about the sequence of terminology concerning the rules of Sharia in Islam? Allah Hafiz.